ramen. In just a span of a few very short years, ramen has become an essential food group for most Filipinos. But only one ramen shop can really call itself crazy or in Japanese, kurachi. Let's find out how crazy it gets in here. What I like about kurachi, it's not simmering. It's sizzling. It's right. a violet bubble, right? right? And uh, you serve it at a very hot temperature. Mm -hmm. All of the ramen is served in a hot bowl. Okay. Hot stone bowl. So it stays extremely hot okay. after uh, many hours. And uh, that's why you have to be a bit careful eating here. Um, there's a bit of a warning. It, it's fantastic ramen. But at the same time, you gotta be careful. You know, don't put your face to the bowl. Never do that. What would make Kureji different from other ramen houses in the Philippines? Mm, in Kureji, we try to focus on a different kind of ramen. Mm. We saw that there was a need in the Philippine market okay. for Tori Python ramen, which is chicken which bone. Is... It's chicken bone. Oh, broth. it's chicken bone ramen. Yeah. Okay. So instead of pork tonkotsu, which is a little on the fatty side, right. on the oilier side, right. we stick to a healthier kind of ramen broth. Okay. The classic pairings of ramen mm. are gyoza, Chicken Those karabia. Chicken karabia. But you know, it's kurechi, so we don't necessarily have to remain with the bounds, the parameters of the rules. You've got a shiracha chicken wing. Right. You've also got chicken uh, salt and vinegar. Yeah, salt and vinegar. And we also have um, garlic soy. Gyoza is all about textures, and uh, being meat lovers, it's something that you really want in your stomach as well. Actually, it's fine without the sauce. Whenever I eat something new, I don't put the sauce first because I want to try it first on its own. Mm, me too. It's naked the way the chef intended to be, and, and that, it's, that's a true test. Uh, some sauces will disguise bad food, but really good food will not really need the sauce unless you really want to because it can stand its own. This can stand its own. Uh, beside me are two ramen lovers, two Kuraji people, and uh, I just want to interrupt their meal and find out what they're eating. Hey, um, sir, this is? This is sizzling yakisoba. Okay. And this is exactly how I like my yakisoba. Hindi matigas, hindi malambot. I mean, it's pancit. It, it's al dente. And yeah. Yeah. And it's it's pancit. pancit. Yeah. What I love about this is kanina parang ang daming flavors. I could okay. taste the seafood. I know, it was so beautifully presented. I know. Right? Kaso nga lang. You know this? <laughs> He had to stop and just take pictures. Yeah. Uh, my first subo kanina. Okay. <laughs> Muntik na ako mapaso. Change your tongue. Oh, really you almost seasoning. change your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. It burn you. And uh, your lady friend here is. It's a green curry tsukuyaki. Okay. So it's a tsukumen. Tsukumen. What's the difference between a tsukumen and a ramen? The tsukumen is um, the noodles separated from the soup. Her name's Kat. She'll demonstrate to us how to properly eat a tsukumen. Slurp away. So you gotta dip the noodles. And then eat it. Slurp it up. It's very loud. She loves it. Tell them exactly, Mia, how you're supposed to eat your ramen. You're supposed to slurp your ramen. In Japan, it's considered polite and it's like you're complimenting the chef that you enjoy the ramen. So you gotta, you gotta slurp it, yeah. Yeah, and if you don't do that, that means you're not enjoying your ramen. It means you're not enjoying it. Finally, here, here's what I came you for. This, oh my god. You weren't kidding us. So this is really yeah. a violent, this is not a gentle yeah. simmer. It's a violent bubble. Okay. Uh, why do we have this? Uh, the noodles are still cooking. Okay. And the uh, flavors of the broth are intensifying. Ooh. It smells healthy. It's like one of those traditional like herbal Chinese soups. You know when you're when you eat this, ah, I'm gonna feel good and uh I think it's it smells so good. So we're about to run out. Oh, so we add more broth. Okay. Chicken broth. Okay. And make sure that you get a healthy dose of this. I won't eat it, but I, I will slurp as much as possible. Don't get burnt. You have to have this intake of soup, of broth, and the noodles at the same time, and they all mix together in your mouth, and it's like a very joyful moment. It's like a return to childhood, right? Wait, what's that? What's that? It's tomato seafood rice bowl. Okay, so. It's sizzling too. Again, it's also sizzling. Yeah. It's serving in this uh, it's stone, the same bowl stone bowl. It's the same stone bowl. 
And uh, it's basically a rice dish. It is, yeah. With tomato broth, mm -hmm. which smells Smell really good and yeah. fresh. Then it's got an egg. It's got an egg on top. I guess this is what makes Kareji special. Uh, there's a lot of food here that you don't find in other ramen restaurants. Yeah. Of course, the classics are still here. Mm -hmm. um, can I order, for example, Yeah. can I just order traditional ramen in a non seasoning bowl? Yes, you can. All right. Yeah. Mix at Kareji. Anything goes, you Anything know. goes at Kareji. Food really should be fun. That's a given. But ultimately, it's really much more than that. The act of eating, it's not just a simple ingestion of nutrients. Eating should be an act of enjoyment, best shared with the people we love. It's a joy, it's an inspiration, it's a celebration. Thanks for spending time with us this week. Till the next, let's eat. I have the honor to have Wow, Bianca! Today we're gonna do a spicy cream corn and thyme pasta. Hey, it smells so good! Yeah, it does! 